in the night time Trap nigga with the chickens like Popeye, Popeye. Money changing colors like Tada I'm just trying to get it, I ain't trying to die no. She got a big on your booty, make the world cry In the kitchen, wrist twisted like a stir fry Hold them bands down What's cracking? <coughs> thing that's cracking is my voice right now. Let's try that again. What's cracking YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As always, it's your man's Nicholas. If this is the first time you're landing on my channel, welcome. Most of my content centers around fantasy football as well as a vlog that I put out every single Saturday just following my journey of starting a marketing business. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. Now that it's the off-season fantasy football, I'm going to be doing a lot more content that revolves around not fantasy football. Shoes being one of them, style, fashion, fitness, nutrition, music, tech, all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy any of those things, definitely subscribe to the channel and I guarantee you will be entertained. I'm gonna be putting out another video I think later this week. It's gonna be like the best jeans for men 2018, something like that, I don't know. So stay tuned for that one. But today, as you could tell by the title, we are doing a review of one sneaker. Well, two sneakers. The Ultra Boost, Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0. And I got them in triple white, so let's get cracking. So these are fresh out of the box. Like I said, they are the triple white. 4.0, I have a problem buying white sneakers. As you could see by my sneaker rack, this entire like 65% of them are white. I also wanna say real quick, sorry this is totally getting off subject, but the Adidas NMDs, I'm sorry if you're an NMD head, but those are the most overrated sneakers of the last two years. If anyone wants to buy those from me, by the way, they got like one scratch on them. I'm looking to sell, I'm serious. Give me your best offer in the comment section below. Let's talk more about these beautiful sneakers. I'll say this right off the bat, the Ultra Boosts are by far and away my favorite sneaker of all time. Regardless of brand, regardless of price, whatever it is, these are the number one shoes on my list. I can't stop wearing them. I wear them when I go out sometimes, I wear them to a friend's house, I wear them to the movies. Every once in a while I fuck around and wear them to some weddings on accident. I can't take them off my damn feet. So today we're gonna look at a few things. We're gonna look at them from comfort standpoint, stylistic standpoint, and a, a use, a useful, a usable standpoint. Like, you know, you buy these shoes usually to work out in. When you're paying $180, that's what they retail for. And as per usual, Adidas makes these in a million different colors. They'll continue making new colors of them until they they're, until they ruin the shoe. And then they'll make the 5.0, and then I'll probably buy those as well. But we're going to look at them from those three standpoints. Style, comfort, and usefulness. I'm talking about working out in, I'm talking about wearing regular clothes in, and I'm talking about how comfortable they are just walking around or working out in them. This ain't going to be one of those reviews where I sit here and I'm like, well, if you look at the new technology upper boosts over here, those should have wonderful impact. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, they're the most comfortable fucking shoe of all time. If you're going to run in them, they're going to feel really good. I will say this. I had two pairs of the Adidas Ultra Boost 2.0s. Those were my favorite shoes. I didn't have the 1.0 and I did not buy the 3.0. That was more of a style stylistic thing. I tried on the 3.0s and they're just as comfortable as the 2.0s as I'm sure these are going to be as well, but I didn't like how the 3.0s were made up. If you look at the top of the shoe, right, you see how the top is more just like vertical lines or horizontal lines, whatever way you're looking at them, right? There's no style to it. It makes it look a lot more like a running shoe to me at least. That's that's my opinion. That's why I didn't really like them because the 2.0s in my opinion aren't actually like vertical. They have the they have the design going around and they're just like dots and stuff. So those to me look a lot better on your feet with a pair of jeans on. And these new ones also have, you can see the siding on the 3.0s, the where the Adidas stripes are, those three stripes. They look like a plastic piece of shit when they're on the shoe in the 3.0. And the 2.0 they have this hard white surface of it that makes it look a lot better and now you're going back to the 4.0s they they went back to what the 2.0s had in the three stripes and they're they're like a solid white color that make them look nice and that's like you know that's the material they'll have for all the colors that you would get with the 4.0 so that's why i passed on the 3.0 i just didn't think they looked like a shoe i'd want to wear out all the time and i did that with the 2.0s and i'm hoping that i like how these fit on feet so that's the first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna try the 4.0s on with a pair of sweatpants a pair of black jeans and a pair of blue jeans all right numero uno we're gonna try them on sweatpants these are probably something more likely for me to wear to the gym see this is what they look like time up for you
Good. So, I mean, I like what they look like on feet with the sweatpants. I didn't really think I wouldn't. And these sweatpants have a little zipper. Let's see how it looks with the butts over them a little bit. I mean, I don't think they look like the 2.0s, if I'm being honest, but I'm definitely not disappointed. Uh, they're super, super comfortable as I expected. I will try them on with a pair of jeans. I look good today. I look real good today. Got the blue, all blue jeans. Throw these bad boys on once again. As usual, they do not disappoint. I mean, obviously, nowadays, like, you don't want to get jeans that are, like, super, super baggy down here. You want to get a nice tapered look, and that always goes well with these shoes. So, yeah, they look good. I really like how they look with the with the jeans on. Let me move back a little bit. Maybe you can get, like, a full body view, kind of. Yep, there it is. trying to learn how to moonwalk lately it's not working also if you're someone with like if you have wide feet like i do my friends call me hobbit feet because i got wide ass feet and usually like shoes will hurt because they're too stiff by the toes and stuff these are very good for that i have had no problems with my feet being too wide for the shoes you can see i'll give you a little bird's eye view see like here my foot always sticks out and it does it over here too i've had no problems with that if you have wide feet and we will try on one more pair of jeans We got the black jeans on. Yeah, so that's what they look like with clothes on. Like I said, one of my favorite parts about this shoe is the fact that they go so well with clothing. Like I have the Lunar Epic Flyknit Low 2, and these are great for working out but they look like shit when you put a pair of jeans on with them. Like they're not something I'd wanna go out in. But these ones I would. I will say though, I don't love, I mean this is obviously subjective to what kind of color you wanna get, but me being someone who loves white, I liked the aspect that the, the Ultra Boost 2s had all white, and these had the black on the bottom, so I'm not as big of a fan as that. And again, I don't like this material as much as I like the design on the 2.0s, but I do I do really like the shoe still, and I'm probably gonna keep them, so. This is my full size mirror, the chance to wrap her. Some people say we look alike, I don't really see it. Now I'm gonna hit the gym, I guess for the sake of this review, I'll do something on the treadmill. Maybe I'll just like walk for 10 minutes, see how comfortable they are, run for five minutes. I'm gonna do some jump rope action. I lifted my legs yesterday, so my ass is sore as hell. I'm not gonna be able to do like lunges and leg stuff for you guys, unfortunately, but I think we'll be able to get a good grasp of how well they perform in the gym based on walking, running, jump rope. So stay tuned, let me get another cup of tea, and we're gonna head to the gym. So we finished up at the gym. Let me get up in my car before I start talking and whatnot. <sighs> was there for probably 50 minutes maybe. I started off with a jump rope and then I got on the treadmill. Right the Oopsies, geez, you got off my radio, bruh. Jump rope, I'm going to go to the treadmill. I walked for about five minutes. I jogged at like 6.0 or 6.5 for about five minutes. And then I actually did a little hit workout where I put the speed up to like 11 for about 30 or 40 seconds. And I sprinted, you know, just to get a feel for how the shoes are. Overall, I'd say they're awesome. They're not much different than the twos or threes, other than just the style point of view. Like I said, the top is like all upper fly knit. I think that was like the difference between the three and four is the fact that they redid the upper, like the top of it. Other than that, it's the same exact technology they use in the in the foam in the back of the shoe, which is awesome. Again, they retail for 180. And some of them are hard to get. Like the white ones are tough to get, but if you just like, if you're really trying to get them and you can't find them in your size on any of the websites, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Finish Line, Champ Sports, and like Adidas.com. If you go and look at those five websites every day or every other day, eventually they'll come back into 
the sock. Like that you might not be able to get your size in the right color for you know like a day or two, but after a week or something, if you check those five websites consistently, you'll be able to find them, I promise. You're not gonna be able to get discount codes for them. They almost any like 10% off or $20 off your order or whatever, those coupons never work for the Adidas Ultra Boost, so don't waste your time with that. Otherwise, I mean, you can order them. Like I got these from Finish Line. They have a 30 day return policy, try them out. I might end up returning them just because I don't really need to be spending $180 on shoes right now when I have, as you can see, like 5,000 pairs in my room already. But that's something you could do, right? You could try them out, return them. Overall, you know, I'm giving the shoes a 9.5. I don't like how they look compared to the 2.0s, but they're still, you know, you saw them with the jeans. You could definitely still rock them. They were great throughout the workout, like no discomfort or anything. They were good for running, good for walking good for jumping up and down. I'm sure they're good for leg movement, squatting, leg press, whatever you gotta do. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up the video. So if you enjoyed, if this helped you out, make sure you give your boy a thumbs up. Just scroll down a little bit right under the video. You're gonna see two signs, right? One like this, one like that. I would really appreciate it if you hit the one that went like this, not like that. That would be cool. You'd be my new best friend. Subscribe to the channel if you are interested in all the stuff I talked about before, right? Vlog, social media marketing, fitness, nutrition, tech, music, or go check out my last vlog and you'll kind of get a feel for my, my channel, what the videos are about, my personality, all that good stuff. Comment below, what has been your favorite Ultra Boost? Favorite one to four, why, all that good stuff. If you have another shoe that you like more than the Ultra Boost, one, you're probably lying, two, I'd like to hear about it, I guess, but that's that. So again, thumbs up, I'll see y'all in my next video.